this uh, trolling motor is finally fixed. As you can see here, I just had to reset, press all four buttons, hold it for three seconds, and I heard a long beep that reset the uh, this, this computer chip back here. And now, after that, I just hold these uh, plus and minus uh, button and then that sync the computer chip to my remote control so now you can see it's working and I'm only connected it to a very small 12 volts battery for testing you don't want to run this uh, 24 volts battery on a 12 volts for a long time but you know just for testing purposes it's okay so look stop and turn see that Okay, so I'm good, and I can also increase the speed. Oop. Stop. Like I said, I don't want to run this motor too long, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to put this down and put that uh, side panel here, also this top uh, power head in, and I'm all done with this uh, fixing this uh, transmission that uh, separated from the from the from the uh, from the shaft. Now everything is going to work as uh, before. Okay, so always watch these four screws that uh, attach. So two screws are behind these two, and then two screws are back there. You know, so. and there you have it. That's how you uh, fix this transmission box? Okay. Beautiful. Okay, finally a success to uh, troubleshoot this uh, transmission box. Look, there we go. And increase. I don't want to run this too long, so as you can see here. can turn this motor now so it's beautiful <laughs> see silly me didn't get the clearance and then started turning there you go okay see that see how slow this thing is you can hear the beep again I'm using that small 12 volts motor so just testing it now it's all fixed with this transmission thing that uh that's supposed to work.